Hey Mark, how are you? My name is Charles. Uh, thanks for responding to my post. And uh, this is the video I want to shoot for you, very short, um, just going over your website and seeing how you can uh, start to draw more and more people come into your site organically. Um, why do I do this? I do this because I know sometimes uh, business owners are really busy. They don't have the time to actually learn these skills. Or, and the, though there's a lot of information out there, the learning curve is pretty steep. So I just like to um, give value and possibly within within this sharing of value, um, we can partner uh, with whichever business owners are ready to partner. If not, no harm, no foul. Give this to your website person or your SEO person, and hopefully this can help you guys get more people finding you um, organically. All right, so I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let me get started. Um, I want to talk about three things, content, backlinks, and citations. Sorry, I'm going to do that in a different order. Content, citations, and backlinks. Content is everything that's on your front page, on your pages. All the text, everything I've tried to highlight in blue here. All the images, even the text behind the images. Um, for example, are there any images here? Here, let me try and see this. This picture has been saved as a whole string of numbers and letters. Um, Google does pick up on all of this. Um, that's why it's important to include, even save your pictures as keywords. And I'm gonna get into keywords in a minute. Um, to optimize with Google, it's important to have about between 1,000 to 1,500 words of authoritative text that shows exactly who you are, what you do, locations you service. Um, it's even good to have lo uh, location pages um, all the services that you provide. Is there anything you can talk about them um, on your on your page? Which uh, I guess you do. You have a little blurb, and then this goes off to a different page, to your video page. I would definitely include uh, more content here as well, meaning more copy, more text. Um, probably around 500 to 7, 750 on the back pages. Um, that's what I advise and let's look at your writing page as as well here um, more authoritative showing rather talking a little bit more about the service and uh, possibly even the locations or where you've traveled to I would definitely also add a testimonials page um, you're a video you're a videographer so I'm sure you can get um, video testimonials which are becoming more and more popular these days um, have some clients actually have video testimonials and put them up on your, on, on your testimonial page. Um, also, one important thing that I'm not mentioning, I'm sorry for this, is that within all this text, it's important to include keywords. Do a little bit of research, look at the keywords that people are typing into Google to look for your services. For example, um, I realized that you're in um, Wentzville, Missouri which is, and uh, something on your website also said, um, St. Charles, Missouri, I think you've, you've, part, you've worked with companies there. So I Googled video production company, St. Charles, Missouri, or video produ production company, um, Wentzville, Missouri. Um, this is a keyword. So this kind of keyword, depending on if it has high search volume or not, is important to Put onto your website so that Google can pick you up for this word um, and put you in front of those searches. Now I realize that you're close. Wentzville is not that far from St. Louis. The reason I was looking at St. Louis is because I was looking for a bigger city, for a big city where there's more population and more searches for your services. Sometimes with the tool I use, which I'm going to get to in a minute, um, I don't see that many searches depending on your location and population because the there the just might not be as many people looking for you and my intent is like to help you get that organic search where that you don't have to pay for so um i use a tool called arefs and it's it's a popular tool it's used to analyze different keywords and also different websites and i was looking at uh what kind of search volume there is for um, keywords such as video production St. Louis, 200 people look for that every month. St. Louis video production, 150 people look for that every month. St. Louis video production companies, 
oh, that's for another client. I'm sorry. Um, it's for another, sorry, not another client. Uh, the video is doing just prior to this. But um, so I can tell that there's quite a bit of volume of people looking for your services already on Google. So it's important to be at the top here for such uh, such search, uh, searches. So let's take one of these video production and put them here. So the first thing you see when you perform a Google search are Google ads. Google ads are good for quick, uh, fast leads, though they tend to get expensive depending on your niche and um, depending on your location and your competition, how much they're bidding for uh, certain clicks. Um, it's all pay per click. So um, I do give advice and I do run Google ads for some clients, but I always um, tell them that, hey, if you're willing to spend this much, we can research and estimate your return. However, just you know, know that you'll be spending so uh, so much, and sometimes depending on the niche and the search volume, I just advise them not to rather go on Instagram or or uh, Facebook or other platforms. It really depends on on um, on your niche and just doing research in the niche to see what's best. Second thing I wanted to talk about are citations, and that has to do with the next area here. This is known as the map pack, where you have a map and three businesses here. How do you rank high and higher in here? It has a lot to do with uh, citations. A citation is anywhere on the internet where your name, address, and phone number, your business name, business address, business phone number, are cited in different directories online. Directories like yellowpages.com, superpages.com, um, Yext, Dexnos, Better Business Bureau, etc. And then there are also niche specific directories. Um, for example, I think I found one here um production hub that's a pretty good directory to be to 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 be in um using my tool again i just analyze i can see the domain rating is really high google trusts the site it's niche re relevant so i'm pretty sure that um either you're in here or you should be in here um and such kind of directories not all sub directories are the same if it's if you're in a different completely different uh, niche and it's not a strong directory, it won't help you much. Google will see that and um, kind of drop you down in uh, relevancy just because it will believe you're kind of spammy. So the more directories you're in, the higher you will rank here. Next after that comes the organic listing section. Now, how do you rank higher high here has a lot to do not only with your content and your citations, but also your backlinks. Backlinks are whenever a different website links to your page, directing traffic to you. Not all backlinks are the same. For example, a backlink from this kind of website here, which is niche relevant, um, will rank higher, will be more relevant in Google's eyes than an Arby's or a McDonald's linking to you. So let me grab your competitor here, the Storyteller Studios um, in St. Louis. Let's open them up in a new tab. And you can see the website has quite a bit more text. So Google's probably picking up a lot picking it up a lot more. And let's dump it into the tool from before AREFs. And because I want to look at their backlinks. Now, this is known as competitive research, where you go in to your different competitors, look at, at the, um, this right now, that's just for one page. I'm going to go for the whole site. Look at their backlinks. Look at what domains those backlinks are coming from. For example, he has about 186 backlinks. I'm oh, sorry, domains giving him 1,700 backlinks. So go in and make sure that you have the more relevant backlinks of his, but not only his, go on to other different competitors, make sure you can uh, identify what kind of backlinks he has. For example, you can see here, this has a domain rating of zero, this first one. So I, I can tell that's a blog post, a blog link, but I would definitely not get this because, uh, oh, actually it's the same kind of, hmm. Maybe this was what he had before. In any case, enter your different people, your different uh, the different backlinks of your competitors, and make sure 
that you have the more powerful ones. This you can see is just a. Uh, I wouldn't get this as a backlink definitely. I'd I'd get the higher DR domain rating um, backlinks. So with those three things, uh, Mark, content citations and backlinks, you'll start to see yourself rise higher and higher in Google for certain searches. Um, for certain keyword searches and get that organic traffic coming to you. People just seeing you and popping on your site, you not knowing where they're coming from, only because you've done the work and you've put yourself in the front of Google. Thanks a lot. Again, my name is Charles, and um, I hope this has been informative. What I am going to do is ask you for some feedback, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Take care and uh, have a great day.